Hello and welcome back. This is Nick with the Live365 Tech Team and today we're going to do a short uh, tutorial video on how to broadcast live using NiceCast. NiceCast is a uh, very popular encoder uh, software that you can get out there. Um, you can get it from Rogue Amoeba and um, we're going to show you how to use that in conjunction with doing a, a live broadcast with your station. So uh, for that example we're going to use my station here, Blue Lake Radio. Um, and let's go ahead and set this up. So the one thing to note is that um, when you're doing a live broadcast using NiceCast as your audio encoder, you have to manually set your broadcast into live mode prior to trying to connect with Nice NiceCast. And I'll show you exactly what, what I mean by that. So the first thing we're going to do here is launch NiceCast. There we go. And when NiceCast comes up, you'll see um, it's going to have all these different options here. Source, info, title, quality, share, and effects. And we'll go into all that here. But um, essentially, so the first thing you want to do is set your source. What are you going to be using as your audio source for this uh, live broadcast? In this case, I want to use an application. So I'm going to select application and I'm going to choose iTunes. Um, in some cases, if you have an external mixer hooked up or something else like that, you'd want to choose audio device or system audio or something like that. So you'll you'll obviously see other choices in here when you select this, uh, depending on your computer. Um, the next thing that's uh, important to match up is your quality. So what you want to do is in your broadcast dashboard, you want to check your quality, which mine is 128 stereo. So I want to make sure that this is set the same way. This has to match. So in, in here under preset you want to uh, choose custom. The bit rate you're going to select 128. In my case it's 128. Sample rate 441 which is common and then stereo for the channels. Now the CPU usage um, I usually keep that right about the middle area. That's up to you. Um, uh, yeah for more information on that I would recommend contacting NiceCast to see how it engages your system. Um, but I usually keep it right in the middle and I don't have any problems. So uh, let's see. So that is pretty much it. The source and the quality are the main things. Effects goes into if you're using a microphone, how you want that mic to sound, how you control its effects and all that. So um, that's a little bit more advanced. But just for the basics, we're going to just start with source and quality. Now the next thing you want to do is configure your encoder and to do that in NiceCast you want to click window and you want to click show server. Now you're going to get this NiceCast server window off to the right here and it's going to have a built-in server but what you want to do is create a new server. So you're going to click on the plus sign here, you're going to give it a name, I'm going to call this Blue Lake Radio Server. And server type, you want to choose Live 365. It comes pre-built. Now the account, this is going to be your username for your station. In my case, it's Blue Lake Radio. And then your password. Local host and port. Now this is going to be your IP address and port number that we provide you on our end. So to get that, what you want to do is go into the controls panel on your broadcast dashboard click on switch broadcast mode you're going to choose live save those settings and there you go this is going to basically manually turn your station from basic mode into live mode and then you're ready to go so here's your IP address everything up to the colon 216.235.94.16 so you're going to copy and paste that into this address field and then next you'll grab the port now if you're watching this, please don't try to connect to my IP and port because I'm going to try to connect to it right now. So here we go. So I've created my server. I want to select it on the right here. Now one little quirky thing about NiceCast is that it won't save these changes until you close this window. So I usually close it out and then I open it back up here just to verify it's all there. And it is. So once I've got all this information in here in the encoder, it's ready to broadcast. All I have to do is literally click start broadcast. 
So that's what I'm going to do next. But I want to start playing a song here. There we go. And then we're going to click Start. In some cases it requires uh, iTunes be uh, relaunched, um, which, it, which you just saw just happen. So. Um, but now it looks like State is on air. I'm broadcasting. Now a lot of times with NiceCast, the way it works is as soon as you start playing a track, you won't be able to hear it back necessarily, but it will be playing. And the way you can test that out is by going to your station page. So let's go ahead and check this. Oh, that's another thing I forgot to mention. So once you're live, you can check this by going back to your broadcast status page. Here, you'll see that it's in live mode. And this should display the metadata for the track that's playing. In this case, I'm playing a song called Infinity by the XX, and that's exactly what's showing up here. So, so I've got it all set. I'm broadcasting live. The next thing you want to do is go to your station page just to verify. And you can go to that. And we're going to play the station. It looks like it is playing correctly. We're just going to verify it here. Perfect. And that is pretty much it. That is the extent of broadcasting live using NiceCast as your encoder, your audio encoder. I'm going to go ahead and stop that for now. And uh, keep in mind, we do have a guide online in our wiki uh, that will help you set up everything that we just went through. But this is essentially exactly what you need to go through to start broadcasting live using NiceCast. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.